Last time on... See? It wasn't just fan service. Mm -mm. There was plot with the plot. The plot plot. There was three plots here. Do you see the three plots? I see the two plots. With the water droplets is the other plot. Oh. That's the plot plot on top of the plot. Okay. You know? You know how many plot series? I, yeah, look. Oh, that was voice acting. I skipped over that. I'm dumb. Either way, I'm I'm sorry. I'm rambling because I'm like, oh my god, I actually figured it out, kind of. Without further ado, I give you... Hello, and welcome to NewbieWeds. I'm drinking, sorry. Not drinking, drinking. I'm having water. You're having water. Yeah, not, not rum. And I'm going to have water. Oh, shit, I have rum. <laughs> Isn't it a nice little tiki glass, too? It's really cute. Go ding, ding. Anyway, last time, yesterday for you guys, about 30 seconds ago for us, um, Pekko was being Batman. Um, for you, he goes in on this. Must Jesus, dude, chill! The city of Gotham needs Don't justice! I will be the vengeance! I will be the knight! Why is she Batman? Is, could she be? Oh, for fuck's sake, she's gonna be the. Yeah, she's gonna be the. Um... Why is it always the ones with glasses? Psychiatrist and being a serial killer. She can have scissors too. As the light of justice shines upon my mask, I will rid the city of Gotham <laughs> of crime. Justice complete. Oh. Oh, fuck's sake. He's got very glowy eyes. The lead star of justice that shines in the night sky. Uh, she's using emojis. She's using the fucking dongers. I will defeat you with justice and dongers. Let me see you raise those dongs, Gotham. What is going on? <laughs> yeah, no, I'm I'm a soda. For once, I'm like, what the fuck is going on? Like, last game, it was fine. Also, it's weird that the second case in this game is serial killer. And the second game in the first... The second case in the first game was to do with serial killer. Really? Yeah. Remember, um... Ch um... Chihiro is murder from Mondo was, like, the Genocide Jill thing. Remember? Yeah. And it was where that was revealed when Genocide Jill was a thing. Yeah. So this is the same thing where, haha, -ha, actually a serial killer. Take a shot every time Peko says justice this episode. It's my chill vibes <laughs> of justice. Everyone, please be careful. She might be a serial killer. Just a hunch though. If we took a shot for every time they said justice this episode, we would have took like 20 shots in the first and couple of minutes. Dead. We would be dead. But seriously, can we have a justice tally in the comments? Like genuinely justice tally. Because like it feels like it's been said a lot. Justice again. Of justice! No? Didn't say justice this line. Next line you're gonna say justice. <laughs> justice! <laughs> yeah! Oh, God. I don't get it, but... Next line, every other line's gonna say something about justice. What? What the heck is this? No? Mega was the killer. Why is it turning out like this? This is turning out to be a surprising turn of events. It's like we really, really want to throw you off court. Monokuma! Wake up! Yeah, it's justicing time. I can't wait for Pekka to, to start justicing on all the people and be like, make it a justice million dollars. Ah! Ha ha! Ah! Again! Because serial killer. Second trial. Right? Mm hmm. So, what's your answer to my previous question? 
this question. Why did you kill Mahiru? I'm gonna take a bet and say the reason is justice. Like literally she saw the game and was like, I need to take justice. I will have vengeance. The world must always be bathed oh for fuck's sake it is. I must not allow justice. <laughs> All right. Evil must be eliminated immediately. <laughs> justice is the next line, right? It's like every couple of lines, justice. Are you saying my hero is she did murder. Justice. Am I wrong? <laughs> so are you the imposter? That you aren't the one meant to be here? The reason you killed Mahiru was... Justice! <laughs> Justice! Justice! Yeah, Justice! Let's go! I hope they have separate Justice counts for us and the game. Because I've said justice so many times. Yeah. How many times have you said justice? Uh, maybe once, twice. I don't know. Just once or justice? Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> justice. Protect justice. Oh, no. justice. Justice. Oh my God. So I'll say something about justice quickly. Holy crap! She's such a stereotypical psychopath. <laughs> <laughs> She's icky and sticky and bubblegum. Just someone's putting Miss Rachel on the background to, to, to distract Hiyoko. To, to, to distract Hiyoko like we, like we do with our literal toddler. Bubblegum. Icky, sticky, 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 bubblegum. It's justice. I have already forgotten who I am. Because I'm justice. My determination. My determination to this is Undertale. Away what's most important. Termination. Are we gonna have some fucking spaghetti? Do you like? Actually, it's games? funny because can I think about Peko? She's actually part skeleton. Yeah, sure is. Did you know that? I She's did. like at least fifty percent skeleton. Yeah, I know. How do you know? Because I just do. Do. Yeah. I think I might be part skeleton. <laughs> What's with the dongas? Right, you sh you are you are glitching out Hyoko. What the hell? You are glitching out Hyoko. What the hell? Your sh your your justice is glitching out Hyoko. Oh, I can't stand this anymore. Let's just end this farce already. And this fart too. I'm gonna shit. End it. That's right. This we need to end this already. Just kill it in the end. There's no mistake that it was Pekka all let's along. Oh, is it actually Pekko and it isn't a, a red herring? Oh boy, closing argument. Let's go, only 10 minutes this episode. Shit. Fuck. Uh, kill it inside the surfboard case. Footprints in the sand. Killer takes a bamboo sword out of the sword bag. Let's... Okay. Uh, this? Okay. It's weird that it, this does it immediately, where the yeah. first game it told you you was wrong. Oh, she literally chloroformed her. That. Uh. Killer went in the surfboard case. Prince in the sand? Oh god, that art on here that for Hyoko. Yeah, no, I'm not I feel that. bad. Hyoko wakes up. I feel like that's gonna be. Here? He kind of arrives at the beach house. He arrives at the beach house. Uh, I assume that's here. Uh, all two letters is here. Okay, I'm, I'm getting this a bit better. This one's done, this one's done. This one is... Yoko arrives at the beach house. Okay, there. Green and pink splatter. That is... Murders Hiyoko. Puts on or takes off the mask. Uh, I guess, yeah. Still sleeping. No, that's not that. Akane covered in blood. The bamboo sword in the sword bag. Uh, 
that one. Okay. Last stock. Go back to where there is one. Plastic water bottle then, what? Okay. Uh, no, not that one, no that one. Oh, this is them in the room dropping the gummy to try and frame Hyok. This one was easy compared to the last one. The only issue I had with this trial was the gravel in the swimsuit mm, for solving yeah. the game mystery before we solved this mystery. Okay, so yeah, we saw this, remember? We saw that meeting. Remember we had a conversation with them by the pool? Yeah. When they was, oh, we're gonna go shopping! She probably wanted to discuss it with someone else who also appeared in the game. And that's what the, okay. That's why they want us to go away. Kyoko accepted Mahiru's invitation, and they promised to have a more detailed conversation about it later. And we walked in on that. And I guess Peko did too. Someone else overheard their exchange. The killer. Okay. The killer eaves on their it's so weird how they make the killers look completely psychopathic with the grey guy things. By that you mean the letters. That ah, look at my JoJo point. pose with these letters. Oh my god, I can't. And the letter Hyoko received told her to come to the beach house at exactly 2 p.m. Okay. By providing different times, the killer was able to lure them to the beach house separately. And take them out one by one. Yeah, girl, I was first. Hey! How you doing, bitches? Showed up at I'm the here! At 2 p.m., just like it said. Chloroformed, literally. And was drugged into unconsciousness by the killer. Like You're an ass, can you make chloroform? Um, it's hard, right? Oh, it's not hard. No, it's I can't very. Remember. It's like it's two chemicals. Common it's like two, isn't it? Yeah. It's weird that such an easy knockout thing is, is made. The killer immediately hit her because I assume this is what it is meant to be chloroformed because of the rag. So they could frame her as the killer. Later. They literally chloroformed a child. I mean, they also murder another child. Mm-hmm. Like, but still. Completely unaware that she'd been targeted for murder. And I hit that boy with a bat. <laughs> he was getting lunch with Microsoft, you know. Sucking off a CEO. Oh my god. No? We're not doing TikTok noises? Okay. As she said, she said, Justice! Oh. Oh, I feel bad. With that, the killer achieved their goal of killing Mahiru and began to tamper with the crime scene. Now to get away with it. But also to leave an oddly specific serial killer mask. <clears throat> for some reason. Yeah. Because justice. Also, the mask found at the scene of the crime was something the killer personally left. Literally it was a calling card. It was like leaving a fucking batarang there. Yes, yes. It's something similar to a calling card. Right. I'm not gonna say uh, I'm I'm like hero from the first game, but I totally have the Ormond clairvoyance for guessing things That's ten seconds yes. in advance yes. when the game has clearly led me in the way to guess it before it says it, so I feel smart. <laughs> That's the way the game is structured. That's literally how these things are structured. That's the clue to a good mystery: is you write it in a way that the viewer guesses ten seconds before it's set on screen, and then they feel good about themselves and gets the happy chemicals, and then they enjoy watching it. I, I don't write things. I've never wrote anything in my life. I I don't have a fancy thingy card that says I do things mm -mm. for me. You know what I mean? Yeah. The killer expected something like that to happen. They expected everything. The killer used something else to wash the blood off their body. And then they argued about the plastic wall was this. You know, taking out the trash or something and going back to their cottage instead of the diner. Mm -mm. Right? Like they could just took it. Oh, I'm taking out the trash. I'm gonna go put it in the dump or whatever. Right? Yeah. Am I wrong? In the shower still though. However, they had no choice but to dispose of the empty Why? bottles in the beach house's trash can. They could have picked it up and gone. I'm emptying this. Well, there must be a dump somewhere to take it. Imagine she dumped all the water bottles in the trash can and was like, Usami, I need you to come get this trash. And Usami's like, okay, I'm going to get this 
trash, no littering. Thank you. Then turns to like her right side. <laughs> what the fuck is that? Oh my god. <laughs> There's just a body there. Just like, Did you? No. Okay, I believe you. Uh, you can't tell me that's some shit Usami would do. Yeah, no, yeah. The killer hid inside the surfboard case that they had already <laughs> This is still before. ridiculous, though. After some time had passed, the sleeping drug used on Hyoga wore off, and she woke up. God, that face she's making in that no. panel. She's like, my best friend dead. I mean, she made plans she came out of the closet. Dead right in front of and her, her girlfriend was dead. From the shock and panic of being considered a murder suspect. Oh yes, it was definitely from the panic of being a suspect. Not that she just saw her best friend die. She fled from the beach house. Because of that, she left footprints in the sand. Everything was a trap set by the killer to frame her. Which doesn't make sense because they're so close. You know? After Hyoko left, the killer like a ninja. Out of the surfboard case. Dropped it like a ninja. They brought with them to shift our suspicion toward Hyoko. It was the wrong color. Placing that gun is what helped clear our suspicion. Yeah, literally. Going being the wrong color. Final. The killer began preparing to escape from the Okay. What are you doing? Hmm? What are you doing? I'm scratching my name. I got very confused. <laughs> what? Hey, what the fuck are you doing? Do you really need to do that right now? Well, it was itchy. Was it scratchy? Hmm. No, it was itchy. And scratchy? I scratched it. Because it was itchy? Yeah. Okay. Just, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, As long as they're able to reach the window, all they had to do was pull the So they stood on the sword and jumped, right? Is the logic here? And so oh yeah, and Chiaki's in a swimsuit. And, us as if had and we're just like, ah, I'm not doing anything, I'm not erect. <laughs> and also, in this thing, Kazuichi should be way more excited, and so should Ibuki. Just saying. Just saying. Because, I mean, it's weird because Grey Guy has literally nothing on. Apart from the sword. With no strap, again. <laughs> How is the sword attached? Like, in this panel, it has a strap. But in the other art, she hasn't got the strap on her shoulder or anything, right? Maybe it's just hidden. But hidden where? Right? She has nothing on! She's she got... has no clothes! She's got the, the you know, the jerky jugs. Yeah, but like... Across her, it goes across her entire body. <laughs> it's a very long strap, and we don't see it when she's in the swimsuit. So where the fuck is it going? Is she just holding the sword with her ass cheeks? Oh my she's God. just clenching really hard and carrying the sword with her cheeks. They said they had been swimming for a while as an excuse. Yeah, just trying to swim. This is the truth behind the incident you caused. Isn't that right, Peko Peko Yama? We're gonna take the mask off. Yeah, okay. With the killer queen ass pose with the rock hands. I see. No, you don't. You've got a mask on. It's covering your eyes. Yeah, because she did it for justice. I, I just performed a justice. 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 Hey, you're a crazy bitch. No, I'm not doing that song. Justice can never be killed. You should all know that as I will become a beacon. And I can't to Gotham. What are you saying? I'm Batman! And Gotham's like, I thought I was the edgy one here, but Becca is just going off on fucking She's gonna break someone's arm and be like, Justice! I do not kill. I have a no killing rule. I just break all the bones in their body apart from the time that I do kill with a baseball bat. See? She has the strap on here. So where was it when she was bikinied? I need to know. I don't know. Was she just clenching? Justice. Are you serious? It's not serious. It's justice. Justice! Oh my god. 
<laughs> Robert Pattinson! Now, follow your hearts of justice that reside within you all and save my life to protect <laughs> justice. <laughs> just, justice! Why? Because of my justice. You want to see how hard my justice can justice when I'm justicing? <laughs> How many times has justice been said? I look forward to the counter because I have lost track. Give me a break. Who's gonna die for you? Justice will die for me. Pick go. We're all gonna get killed. For the sake of grand justice. Justice. <laughs> Another fucking why is there why is there fucking Oh Maracons fucking why is it dongers? That's that's justice. I'm joking every time with justice and it's like no no it is justice dude I'm serious let's executive her give her a suit is he so asleep oh fucking thank god I have my arms out again but who cares? I already know! Has he seriously been asleep? Has he just been deactivated this whole time? It feels very odd that he's been asleep this entire time. <laughs> Such Even though I was not here for it. So who do you think it was? Do you think it was justice? It was justice! <laughs> Why'd she do it? Justice! What was the motive? Justice! <laughs> it feels like a bad Batman parody! Oh, it's over! The second troll's over! Can we please have a little more time? What for? Justice! Mm. Why is it carrying on? Why are we interrupting it? Have a little bit more time? Please let us continue our discussion. But I wanna know about the serial killer! Is it is it some bullshit? Yeah, she's been convicted! Right? Let's get on with get on with it! Yes, but I cannot help but feel strange. Something about this is definitely strange. Are you sure? I think she's just crazy. Strange? What do you mean? Bit odd, isn't it? No doubt that Pecco is the killer. That is true. However, oh, what? Just kill the bitch! Serial killer enthusiast. You're wondering if Pecco is really sparkling justice. Am I right? Am I wrong? <laughs> isn't a serial killer enthusiast she just has a little more passion about them yeah dude that's an enthusiast that uh. makes her an enthusiast <laughs> fuck's sake oh thanks abuki abuki abuki's on the same fucking wavelength felt strange to me too there's a yeah no, and you're very strange so why does this matter she's about to be killed you know. Sonia describes sparkling justice like this. Justice! Justice complete! The center of justice that is pierced by justice! Right! The lead oh my god, yeah, we know! You pre recorded this line! So, of course, she was gonna use it again. That would be me. Sparkling justice! Is this where Sonia is actually sparkling justice? Oh my god. And they're gonna do the Spider Man pointing meme with the mask on? <laughs> Uh, sparkling justice, sparkling justice, 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 justice. They're just there, both yelling justice at each other. She didn't say the catchphrase. Oh no. That's the hint. Ah, she didn't know the catchphrase. And she didn't memorize it. And then she's like, shit, shit. I just disguised myself as a serial killer. And I didn't learn the catchphrase. I swear, if that's the fucking plot of this is like, Oh no, Pekka literally isn't Sparkling Justice. Why? Because she didn't learn the fucking catchphrase. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's lines, by the way, that you're going to be reading. Oh, is there? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, she's not reading these. Mm. Mm, the article was written in their native language, so I tried translating it. Thanks. Yeah. I see, so that's what it was. I think I've got a difference between the serial killer and Pekka. Yeah, she now, oh! She had to translate it into Japanese. And Peko isn't Japan. Peko is Japanese. So 
So sparkling justice is not Japanese. Yeah. So you say. The article was written in their native language, so I tried to translate it. Yeah. Yeah. If she had a translated. It means it wasn't in, English, in, right? in Japanese. It wasn't written in Japanese. Oh. We're speaking Japanese with English dub. Yes, the magazine I read was written in Spanish. Ah, so she was not a serial killer. She was El serial killer. So, sparkling justice right? Yeah. Was no doubt written in Spanish Which well. again, that that's annoying. That's reminding me about my work now. About the design for Hispanic Heritage Month. That the lovely Hispanic, I believe Hispanic lady from the surname, because I'm doing the second lady now. Mm -hmm. So the first, the first one is definitely Hispanic because that's the one my boss knows. Um, doing it, this lovely shirt for Hispanic Heritage Month. Um, so all the families, a few. I was like, she was saying that there was a few because uh, originally it was going to do something with flags, but there's too much detail on the Mexican flag with the bird and everything else. So, because each flag would have to be so many colours, so it's very hard for us to do multiple flags on one shirt. Did someone else, she wanted to do that, you know, for the actual Hispanics at the school and their families. Sent it. She approved it. She loved it. Great, because it was in Spanish. They came back today. We have to change it because the, the central office doesn't approve of it. But here's the alternative, and it was basically the same design, but all the text was in English. Like, yeah, you're allowed to celebrate Hispanic Heritage Month, but only if you do it in English. <laughs> like, it's so bad, right? It's just like the silencing of minorities is like, bruh, what? what? What do you mean? We can't... You can't celebrate your Hispanic heritage in a Hispanic way because the language has to be the fucking... Like, not Hispanic. Like, what? It doesn't make sense. It'd be like, oh, let me celebrate how English I am by speaking French. Well, uh, well French is a bad example. Half our language is French. By speaking Chinese. <laughs> you know, let's celebrate how English we are by speaking Chinese. Uh, that doesn't make a lick of sense. That's stupid. And I feel really bad for the, the lovely staff of that school that were trying to do something nice for the kids. Yeah. The fact to make it more English appropriate because fucking stupid white people being stupid white people. And capitalists and fucking dickheads. Mm -mm. Sorry. From Spain? Spain? <laughs> what? What, what? L what? So, is someone gonna say K? Someone gonna be like K? <laughs> In the background? No. Is anyone secretly Spanish and a serial killer? No. Anyone secretly a serial killer? Anyone secretly Spanish? Oh, sorry, I completely misunderstood when I first heard those serial killers. Genocide, Jack, is but. Is Toko Spanish? Uh, uh. Those are both serial killers from the same country. Okay. So Toko, Genocide Jack, Genocide Jill, Japanese. That wasn't the case, if so. Echo, you're not sparkling justice. Because you know you're not, possible. yeah. Stop culturally appropriating that country's serial killers. Or, if you insist that you're sparkling justice, can you try saying that catchphrase in Spanish? No, that blowing glass. She just starts... <laughs> Broke his Spanish, please. It appears that the time has come for this mask to come off. However... I wonder who the serial killer is. It's no longer necessary. Just ripped off her own face. <laughs> Even if you find out now, it's too late for you all to do anything about it. Uh. My duty has already been finished. What duty? <laughs> My duty as a tool. What? Has already been completed in full. Ooh. You think she likes pot? <laughs> uh, maybe. Do you have any tool lyrics to spill out in prov? Uh -huh. I, I can't What's think of any tool lyrics off the top of my head because I'm normal? so fucking dead. That mask. Has fulfilled its purpose. Just as Cause it was a tool, and you're just gonna hear some very distorted guitar coming oh in. Like dum dum dum. It's like what? What do you mean? Fulfilled its purpose? Is she, is she a man in a box? <laughs> really? Now I'm trying to. I need to think of tool songs. Is 
I remember pot. Huh? Hey, be clearer. We're asking you what your purpose was. What are the lyrics to schism? <laughs> Is there lyrics to schism? I mainly remember the instrument, like a lot of tool songs I just remember. Like the, the various like instrumental You mean the band? Which means someone else used her then? She had a bit of a schism, it's fine. Do you think she has a grudge? Oh maybe. Maybe a little bit of a jambi. You think maybe she has some pie? I would say she's a tempest. <laughs> ha! We are just making this. Oh, guys, realize when we eventually get to the game grumps playing this, Dan is going to do the same thing. <laughs> he is totally going to start doing tool references. <laughs> right? You think she got herself eye hole deep in muddy water? Only <laughs> 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 in muddy water. <laughs> You have to been out and she was out of her mind. <laughs> I, I need pot to be doing these fucking tool jokes. Oh my lord. Oh dear. Just just Paco's gonna look up. That Monokuma, Monokuma is like, you're about to be executed. She's about, who are you to wave your finger? <laughs> and Monokuma is going to be like, me, you've been fucking executed. You must have been out of your mind. <laughs> no. <laughs> just, the, the, who are you to wave your finger is now going to be, a, that's the one part of the song that gets loop. Don't pretend in the don't be, don't pretend, you know? Yeah. Must have been. Hi. Else? You must have been. Hi. <laughs> just Monokuma's just been like you must. I just imagining Monomi and Monokuma in the background. You must have been. Hi. Mm. We're just still trying to like finish the trial out. There is proof that establishes that fact. Try to remember it. Is there? The fact that there was more than one possibility the crime, the body discovery announcement, because we mentioned it earlier. So who are you to wave your finger? You practically raised the dead. No, we're not. We're not doing more lyrics. <laughs> uh, I know what I'm listening on my way. I'm going to start listening to all again on the way to work. Yeah, we had a whole conversation about it. So what about this time? Is three boom including the killer or not? No, no, no. Jeez. You mean jeez? Fine, fine. You want me to say it? It doesn't include this the killer this time, okay? All done. All done. And Job done. Is made when at least three people discover a body. And in okay. this particular case, the killer, Pecco, is not one of those three. Okay. If that's the case, it would mean only Hyoko and Kazuichi discovered the body, but I see. That leaves us one person oh, yeah, because it was there before we got in there. You remember? Mm -hmm. Before we got in there, it played. That means there was one more person in the beach house. Plus, the fact that Monokuma tried to hide that truth from us by being flexible with his own rules. That yeah. such a vital clue that it could alter the outcome of the trial. Like an accomplice, for example. It was there an accomplice? It's not it. Huh? Am I wrong? Am I wrong? Oh, no. Are you gonna look at me and tell me that I'm wrong? She came down in a bubble, dog. Well, <laughs> it's time for me to go. <laughs> you really want to end it now? Are we ending the episode now? Are we? Is that what's happening? Just because I'm wrong? Am I wrong? Oh my god. I'm sorry, but him being the whole episode. Am I right? Am I right? Am I right? Am I wrong? You gonna look at me and tell me that I'm wrong? She came down in a bubble dog. Her sister was a witch. Her sister, or his sister, was dead <laughs> in a video game. Oh, no. uh -huh. And then we sung two songs. This, this these last couple of episodes have been the most chaotic episodes oh, we have no. recorded for this series. I'm so sorry.
Are we seriously ending this episode? I, mean, here? I don't know. What do you think? We're, we're on time to end. Yeah. We're past time. Oh, well, yeah, we are, but fuck. Okay, okay, I guess we'll end it. I really wanted to finish these this <laughs> week. Oh. oh, my God. I, I hate this. I hate this. Hate it. We need to go to sleep, though. We do. It's past midnight. Jesus Christ. <gasps> I didn't even realize it was so yeah. late. No wonder uh, I'm so freaking tired. Who are you to wave your finger? You must have been out your mind. You must keeping have been. me up this late. Hi. Uh, you must have been. Hi. Oh my god. Okay. Next time on Ubi Woods. Next time. Next time. Am I going to be wrong? <laughs> Did she come down in a bubble? I just. This episode has thrown so many things at my brain to compute with that it's not ready to compute with. <laughs> and we're still not done with this fucking trial! Oh, oh. Lord.